So good morning, everybody. Hope you have a good day or had a good day. Good morning, more like afternoon. It's like 12. Um, so I took one off just to see what it would look like. There's some work that needs to be done to it, but it's beautiful. So let's show you this. Hang on here. Once you take it off the tape, there's a lot of residue, a lot of resin on it. I have to take the heat gun to it and my exacto knife. You got to do a lot of cleaning, but it's easy to do once you take the heat gun to it. Because what happens is at the back, you're going to get lots of um, the tape, like the tape, and you're going to get resin inside the tape. So don't panic. It's easy to come off as long as you use your um, heat gun. But check it out. Look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. Look at that. Beautiful. It went right through it on each side. It's beautiful. I love it. So it's just a matter of cleaning it up. So I clean it up with my exacto knife. Uh, so it was um, full, and I mean full of resin, full of tape. So then I just, you know, use my handy, handy heat gun. But trust me, it's hot. It gets hot. So be very, very, very careful. Let it cool down a bit. And then you just start, you know, scraping. See, there's still a little tiny bit here. And you just start scraping it off. And it comes right off like so and then I use my alcohol wipe to wipe it off and oh my god it's beautiful I can't believe how it turned out I'm very happy like extremely happy it turned out gorgeous so now the thing is this one is so light, like that's the the background, like that's the sticker on it there. Uh, I'm not too impressed with that. It still shows the picture, so we're going to try it right now. Let's see what we can do here. very unfortunate because that white is going to show through although I could always use crystal clear and leave it silver but I need to make sure that this is right in the middle so it kind of mucks up your your design so clear still not too bad but clear um, coats like this if you don't want the magnet to show I think you're better off making sun catchers with them I mean, it's still definitely pretty. There's no doubt about it. It's still very pretty. There's nothing wrong with it. Although you'll just see the magnet through it. Like it would still work on your fridge. There's no question. I mean, it's still gorgeous. <laughs> it's still cute. Like you could hardly see it. It kind of looks like, yeah, it kind of looks like a horizon really, if anything. So it is kind of cool. 
Like, look. Still pretty. So, yeah. Not bad. So there's one down and nine to go. So I'll get, I'm going to take them all off and just see what they look like. And I will show you how to clean one and that will be it, okay? I'm not going to sit here. It's going to be very monotonous watching me clean a bunch of them. Okay. So, just to let you guys know as well, that taking the tape off is very tar hard as well. See, so it can be a pain in the butt. So, you may not be able to see through. Again, this one went through beautiful. Now, as you can see, this is how bad it is. So, if you can find something better like a uh, thicker tape right across, then you're not going to have those bits of resin through it like that. You see? So I'm going to show you guys once I'm all cleaned up what they look like because like this takes a little while to do, but you use your heat gun and it easily comes off. Like I'll make it real quick for you. Like, I don't want to do this on my silicone mat, but you just leave it on the ground like this. And warm it up. Leave it cool down. And then take your X-Acto knife. Where did my knife go? Right here. Like, that's not very hot. So I'll, I'll try to maneuver it. It's not hot enough, to be honest. I leave it hot, hotter. So, like, really, that's not really hot. And then I just kind of go like this. You see? It, it comes off very, very easily. Leave it heat up more, and it's even easier, okay? So leave it heat up more, maybe go even pieces at a time. Like a while ago, I let it heat up a lot more than this and it came off like a charm. So just letting you know, it's very tedious, yes, but it works like a charm. And, but it went right through. Oh, and then this one's really pretty because it's got the green in it. It's very, very pretty. So it comes off without a problem. So let's check out the other one. And remember, I poured a lot of resin on that guy. Same here. Oh yeah, that one came through too. Very pretty. However, the white magnet is, I'm gonna, the white magnet's gonna really, I don't know man, because this one's quite clear. You can see that. Lots of resin. White magnet's really going to show up on that one. I don't know what we're going to It's a real big disappointment, to be honest with you. You can always try heating it up before and then taking the tape off. That might even be better. This one doesn't show up much. Like I said, it looked like a planet before. It still does, but it's not very dark. It should be darker. It's pretty cool. Now yeah, the black and white. Mm. Let's see what that looks like. Now this, the magnet, won't be at least an issue. That's cool. Got to get all that tape off. I'll get the tape off on the side, but that's a cool one. Different. <laughs> it's 
So that's pretty neat. I prefer the back. But it's still cool. So this magnet will not be an issue. Now, remember, this one was the white we put down first. See what happens. Yep, shows up much more. Again, lots of resin. But the white shows up a lot more on this one. If you can see underneath that tape. The white shows up a lot better. So, you're better off with the white first and then the black. Good to know. So, it's pretty cool. Oh, man. All stuck together. They're going to be really nice magnets. And I actually ordered smaller cabochons to match the magnet next for the next time so they're, they're going to be one inch magnets and one inch cabochons so they will be the same size as this so it's going to be perfect next time i just these come in between just letting you guys know these little rings come in between the, the magnet if you lose the in-between, you'll never get them out. Just letting you know. I can't get this off. There's two There's two together here. Actually, three. And I can't get them off. I tried peeling them. I tried everything. I can't do it. That's how freaking strong these things are. I mean, I'm sure maybe somebody who's got strong hands can do it. I certainly can't do it. See, this is stuck resin there that has to come right off, so. I'm going to do them all, and then I'll show you guys later. Oh, I like this one. That is cool. Wow. Check it out. Look at that. That is cool. I like it a lot. That is really cool. Very neat. That was a swiping one that I did. Neat. This one didn't... Uh, looks like a Halloween scene. It's not very... It's very clear, though. So... Most of the resin left on this guy. Still neat. Looks like a little spider web of some sort. <laughs> With a magnet in there, it's not going to be the greatest, but definitely good for um, Halloween. Look how cool. Isn't that cool? It's got a hint of yellow and red, and there's the black in there. Isn't that cool? Okay. Not sure what the magnet will do with that there, but I love these mats. At least you can just pull off your resin like that. Okay, just like the Loli Beffy, same thing. Come on. Sticky tape. Oh, and little bits and pieces, well, not this kind of tape, but masking tape will take off little bits and pieces. This tape is too, um, not sticky enough, you know? Oh, come on, please come take off. This guy won't let me come off. Ah. Nope. Here we go. Oh, ever pretty. Now that's got a sunset. L looks like it's on a lake. It's got green. That is really pretty. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. 
it is gorgeous. Looks like land, like a faraway mountain, and it's got a sunset in it. Really gorgeous. clean them all up. These are different colors, I'll tell you that. Very cute, very different. Hmm. Again, very different. I like it. It's very, very different. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to clean them all up, put you on pause, and when you come back, you will be nice and done. Okay? Talk to you after. Uh, hang on. We're back. Okay? So here they are. Bye, guys. It took me, sorry about this darn thing, hang on here, it took me about, I would say an hour to clean them, an hour and 20 minutes, and I also ran into some more difficulties as I dropped my heat gun on the floor and it broke. So I was not impressed. Now I gotta buy a new heat gun. Oh, I tell you, the problems I have are crazy. Not fun. So I put this on a little canvas there that I've got, a little wooden canvas. Um, oh, I'll get back to you in just a second, guys, okay? I um, gotta go get something, I'll be right back. Okay hey guys, I'm back. Hopefully you can see this. It's the lowest way it goes. Okay, so it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to clean this up. I also had problems though. My um, heat gun fell on the floor and I broke it. I am so not happy right now. You have no idea. So I had to throw it in the garbage. It's completely, completely broken. <sighs> so I finished. I had three left to go and I finished it off with my torch. And a torch does not work well. If anything, I burnt my table. Do not, whatever you do, uh, use it on your silicone mats. And that's including your heat gun because you're going to ruin your silicone. And it, when you pour skins on your silicone, you won't be able to get that out. Your sil you won't be able to get your skins off. So just letting you guys know that, okay? Anyways, um, so uh, this table has got nothing on it. And, um, so I kind of burnt a little hole, not hole, but just some brown on it with the torch while I was more removing, while I was heating the crystal. And then I thought, once I was done with all of this, I thought, oh my God, why not use Goo Gone? Yeah. So the next time I pour on these... Um, hand pour on them if I do hand pour again trust me it's a lot of work but I believe that you're gonna have better results prettier magnets if you hand pour I would charge a lot more money for hand pouring than I would do for skins because I mean it's a lot more work 
and a lot prettier and it's handmade, right? Rather than skins. Because skins are, they're, they're handmade, but you can't control your skins. Your skins are skins from leftover resin, skins from leftover Dutch pores. So anyways, you can make your skins on your mat. I actually did that. I made a skin yesterday. I'm going to show you guys this. Hang on. See? I made this skin yesterday. So I'm going to cut these out. And I'm going to put them on crystals. And see how that works. So I actually did make this skin. Rather than pouring like in a mold and or on a table or anything like that. So I actually made it. I hand made it. But I mean, that's going to work. It's not like it's not going to work. But the thing is, is you're going to get thicker areas, things like that, right? And when you get thicker areas, it's not as pretty on a magnet. But anyways, <laughs> this is stuck to it. <laughs> Too funny. Let me just pull that off like that. And then I love these silicone, um, what do you call them? Containers for pouring resin because this just comes right off as well. You just have a little, little bit of elbow grease and it comes right off. I always put them upside down on my low leaf effie mats or my silicone mats and it comes right off. And then you can peel all this off. This all comes off. Okay, so just so you know, I did do this one. I think it's pretty cool. It's a fire thing. So then you just put your um, cabochon on top of that. Cut it out. Same way I was doing the magnets on my other video. Okay. So, moving on. I want to show you... Um, I showed you that one, right? Yes, I did. So this was the one with the magnet that goes in there. Again, it's not too bad. You can still see it. It's not like you can't. So it's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to show you the other magnets. They're beautiful uh, magnets, the crystals, I mean. This one, I find, looks like a mountain rather than um, an ocean pour. I actually find it looks like a mountain. It's very pretty. Looks like the, Alas the, the Alaskan mountains or... Isn't that gorgeous? So, I love it. And this one still looks like... Uh, what do you call it? planet very clear this one though so we're gonna try putting them on a magnet see how it goes and this one did turn out pretty cool so if you see don't mind my nails they're not done aren't that isn't that cool so the white and black does work so, you know, white and, and purples or uh, the, the colors are endless that you can do with these. And here's a fiery look. Oh, still not completely clean. Hang on here. I see some residue. And when you do that, you just kind of trying to shine it up a little bit here wipe it down a little bit more and uh, like you always get your fingerprints and stuff on it you just polish them all up when you're done with a rag or I'm using my <laughs> my shirt right now which is not good but anyways so here's like you can see the fire so cool. I love it. Cool, isn't it? This one's pretty neat. 
Look at that. Beautiful. There's something to be said about pouring on the crystal itself. You're not going to get those effects when you do your own, the skin itself on that. You're just not going to get that kind of effect. Impossible. You're not going to get the transparency as well. This is neat. This is like a really cool one for Halloween. So with the magnet in it, you're going to have like a moon look, I believe. Hopefully that works really well. These would be so cool as sun catchers, but I just don't have the equipment for the sun catchers yet, so I'm going to get them. And there's another. So I found out that these, the size of these are 50 millimeters in Canadian, and they actually have... Um, bigger ones. I, I looked that up on Amazon today. So I might get some. We'll see. So this is cool, isn't it? I love this one. It's really neat. Like, I, I think that it looks like a little bat in there or bird. It's pretty neat. color turns turned out pretty cool too and then here's another one that's the matching so neat they're gorgeous just gorgeous what I would charge I don't know yet because they are very expensive to top it off like this is a box of 10 and they were like $28 I believe so I would sell them two a piece. And then you gotta buy the magnet and the magnets are really expensive. Even more so than the crystals. So I would probably sell them for two for ten dollars because they are expensive. Plus your resin, plus your tents, plus the labor. So yeah, they're pretty expensive. And you've got a handmade um, beautiful piece. So, yeah, I really like them. They turned out gorgeous. So moving on, I'm going to try to put some magnets on these. I don't like working with that magnet, though. It's so hard. It really hurts your fingers. I suggest you put on some gloves. It's going to be hard getting the sticker off of that, though. I should have got my son to take to separate the magnets for me. Because it hurts. I got my skin stuck in it. Oh. Really hurt. So I'm going to see if I can separate the magnets here. It hurts, man. One separated. Good. Two separated. Make sure they're very separated before you. Three. Oh, we're laughing right now. Four. So I need what? Nine. Five. Six. Make sure you separate them well because they attract each other like crazy. This is how I'm separating them, just pushing them with my thumb. Make sure you wear rubber gloves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And like I said, there's a plastic in between. Ha, huh, that was easy. Nine. Whew, okay. Put them back in the box. Now, let's see if I can take the sticker off with my rubber glove. No. Okay. 
my hand. So this could be monotonous, taking the sticker off. Yep, it could be very pain, uh, pain in the butt. Come on. Side. Oh, lots of fun. Trust me. Okay, you got one. So I'm just going to put it at the back of the magnet for now. Like so. One. You know, I just might just sell them like that. And people can just bring them home. Put them on themselves. I just might do that. Then they can choose to do what they want to do with them. That's a thought. This one I already did. So you know what? I, I think I'll keep this set for myself. Put that on the fridge for myself. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So guys, this is what you can do. So I'll put this one on just to show you. Again. So I will... Um, how do you say that? I will provide the magnet for it. When selling it. And you guys can decide whether you want to put it on or not. If you want to keep it for yourselves, then you can do so. This one's off center. Fantastic. No, won't be able to put that on. You know what? That'd be great because then I can't, then I won't be responsible for putting it on wrong. Okay, so I'm keeping this one. See, it's still not too bad. You can use it, you can, it can still look like an ocean pour this way, or a mountain pour this way, and you still like have a sun looking at it kind of deal. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep these two. Yes, I am. Very pretty. Keep these two, and I'm just going to provide the magnets when I sell them. And that's perfect because they just sit like this and they won't get damaged. And then I'll put them in my little bag that comes with them. This is beautiful. How cool is that? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to stick the stickers on each magnet, and I'm going to sell them separately, and you can stick the magnet on yourself. So, they will be two, a set for um, $10, because these ones are made, they're handmade. Yep. And so here's a skin that I will be doing with these ones as well. And these ones will be easy. Oh, there's some transparency. So that's pretty cool. Let me see that. Let's check this out. Take this off. Doo -doo. That's so cool. So we got this, and there is some transparency, as you can see. <laughs> cool. So I'm going to cut them out. Once they're all done, I'll show them to you guys. These ones, I can make as magnets. Because they're not so um, transparent that the magnet, you know, there, you can hardly see the magnet at all. You see? You can't. 
So this is going to work. And that will be really pretty. And these ones I won't sell as much because not as much work having to scrape and take them all off. And This is really cool. I love this one. So these are going to be very pretty. Let me see here. I'll show you. So they come like this. Okay. Take this out. So let's say I want, I don't know, this area done. Okay. So I'll glue that part with the, um, the glaze that I have. Okay, or even here. Well, you know what I'm talking about. So you glue that area, and that's just as pretty. But you just don't see the transparency, which is good. And then you put the magnet at the back. Voila. And you can't see the magnet. They're not as gorgeous as those ones. That's guaranteed. But still the same process, same, the same concept. And these ones I'll sell for, I don't know yet. I'll figure it out, see what they look like. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. You see? Yeah. So I'll work on those as well. Oh, I mean, I've got other. I might as well show you guys that too. So I had leftover. Let's see what this looks like inks or resin. Let's see what it looks like as a coaster. If if I can take it off. Eee. Maybe not. Oh my god, it's really stuck on there. Not again. Last time this happened, my silicone was completely ruined and it's really stuck. Hmm. Where's my knife? Like there's not even an edge that I can get through. Not good. Nope. I'm not happy. That means I overheated it. That's why you gotta be very careful when you overheat stuff, like I just did. Man. No, it's really stuck there, as if. So I'm gonna have to wait for my heat gun Oh, I ruined it. Is this even possible? Yeah, it is. Yep. Look at that. It's stuck right on it. I can't believe it. I just ruined some more silicone. Look at this. <laughs> Like, it's not letting go at all. Do not do what I'm doing, guys, because this is dangerous. I ruined my silicone. I ziff. I just bought this one. See, you don't do this, this because you cut yourself like I just did. Ah, Yeah, you see? Cut myself. Yeah, I'm going to leave this one alone. Like, I'm getting it off, but... Wow. 
I'm going to have to heat it up. And I cut myself. So you got to be very careful. <laughs> Look at these guys. I took it off. Please tell me you're not stuck. You're okay. Oh, this one's cool. Neato! Check this one out. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, I like it. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Very cool. And let's try this guy. Oh, as if. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Oh, I got this one. Okay. I was going to say, like, since when does silicone stick like this? Huh? Well... I over, um, no, I don't like this one at all. When I poured them in the silicone um, molds, the resin was quite hot, and then I used the heat to it again. No, this is ugly. Not to mention I browned the white resin. So if you can see that, no another ruined piece. I had worked with that resin all for how long? Like a long time. And that was the leftovers. No way. It made a mess. Too bad, eh? Oh well. At least this one worked. And this one will come off without an issue. really hurt cutting myself and we got this one let's see if this one's stuck this one's okay well, somewhat okay as if oh it's pretty too I lost some of the silicone, but not as bad. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. That's different. Huh. It's got some green in it. I, I noticed that the yellow turned into a fluorescent greenish color when you put it up against the black background. It's pretty neat. So they're cool. Okay. I do have another skin that I made. I'll show you. And then I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, what a mess this is. That's really too bad. If I can get it off the mat. There we go. <laughs> that one's looking different. Not the greatest, but there will be some areas that I can use. There we go. So I poured the rest of it on the, my lowly left Deffy mat. And then this is the back, but I don't like the back. So the front is okay, and I can use, not this area here, but I can use some of the areas. Such as this to make a cabochon. So that one's really pretty. You see? But absolutely not at all like pouring. Pouring on it is a lot prettier. But anyways, that's my video for today. Have a good one, everybody. And um, make sure that uh, 
that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep a sticker on and people can decide whether they want to make it as a magnet themselves. Okay, good day. Bye-bye.